next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, just about Ladies ready to go here gentlemen. now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition.
Three minutes now to go in this one. Under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Shot is blocked there by Lee. The right hand just misses. Big right hand. So one more minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Caught the kick. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Try to establish that jab. Nice. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big head could land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lou. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC, and there was plenty of it. Yeah, and it was the knees. Every time you saw an opening, he took it, man. You can really damage guys with knees to the body. of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Slips the punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. 
big punch land. Ooh. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. Takedown defense holds up. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Just over three minutes to go. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he caught the kick. Well, that is going to do it. So he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of a kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfection. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. with the ground and pound strike. Under a minute to go round two. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Continues to work out of that tie clip. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice straight punch. All in a single collar tie there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. up again. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, Good. you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his part. Not him, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Last number one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Missed with that attempt. And he landed the right hand there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Got the single collar tie. Big head kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He loaded up there on that high kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move. Right? Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Stuff to take down, no problem. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Strike there by Lee. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Just misses with the straight right. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Boy, time up. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storm. Plus right hand is true. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Woo. Nice work. Your cardio is sick. 
All right, DC, here we go with our next round. Ready? It wasn't just the accuracy, Ready? it was the aggressiveness of the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Lock that kick to the body. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Straight left counter, that one will work. Big leg kick land. Just out of range with that right hand. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Good work from the top here by Lee. Ten seconds to go in round four. Oh, nice 
work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Good job, good job. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Big punch man the middle. Big body kick. the takedown without issue. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the early... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight! He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh! He's still looking for finish now because he's got his equipment hurt very bad. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.